Today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors onto an 03 to 07 GM trucker SUV. Boost Auto Parts offers many different mirror options as well as other accessories for your 03 to 07 GM truck as well as many other vehicles. Check us out on the web at BoostAutoParts.com. We're going to start by showing you the door panel removal. This is going to be on the passenger side but the procedure is going to be pretty much the same on the driver's side. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the little lock lever. You can just go ahead and pry that off. Then we're going to go ahead and use a trim tool. Just pop this little cover off right over here. That's going to expose a bolt that needs to be removed. Just go ahead and remove that. And then on the other side, this is actually a trim clip, so we're just going to use a trim tool. Go ahead and pry that off as well. We're going to go ahead and remove this cover. It's just held on with a little clip, so just go ahead and snap that off. There's a bolt right back here. It's a 7 mil. We'll go ahead and remove that. And there's another 7 mil right beneath the door grab. We'll go ahead and remove that. We're going to use a T15 socket and go ahead and remove this. We're going to use a trim removal tool. Just go ahead and pop this top piece off. You may be able to just use your hand. You should just be able to kind of lift the door panel. It'll come off. And you're just going to go ahead and unplug any of the electrical connections back under the door panel. Now for this one here, you're just going to undo that latch and then it'll slide down and unplug. i showing you a little bit better. To release these on this connector, you're just going to go ahead and press the latch, then it'll pull out. Same with these two, you're just going to go ahead and press the latch. Now for this one over here, this last one, uh, it's got a little bit of a unique design. This is how it's going to look when it's plugged in. You have to kind of depress uh, right up here. You can see there's a little tab. You're going to kind of depress that and then the latch will slide back. So I'll just show you what we were doing a little bit there. Go ahead and remove the foamer on the mirror. We're going to go ahead and use a 10 mil and take off these three nuts. And then you're going to want to make sure you're supporting the mirror. Sometimes there are plastic clips that kind of hold it, but uh, it's just a good idea to support it. Then you should be able to just pull the mirror back out. There may be some plastic clips there that you just need to kind of press on a little bit, and then the mirror should just be able to be removed, and you'll just go ahead and route the harness it back out with the mirror. Now we're going to take our new mirrors provided by Boost Auto Parts. We're just going to route the wires into the cab, fish all the wires all the way through, and then we're just going to mount the mirror up. Now it's important to note, you want to make sure all of the slack is pulled into the cab of the truck so that nothing gets pinched between the body, the mirrors, and the truck. However, you do not want to pull the excess slack out of the orange wire. Now again, we have all the slack pulled in. We're just going to go ahead and put the 10 mil nuts back on. You want these to be pretty snug. just go ahead and plug in the white and gray extension lead. If you did order signal and running light or switchback, you'll also have an orange wire for the running light. We'll go ahead and plug that extension lead in as well. We need to remove the door boot. On these trucks, there's a little clip at the top and the bottom, a plastic clip. You're just going to take a flathead screwdriver and release the clip. And do the door side as well as the cab side. run the wires down through the door. You want to make sure you're steering clear of the window. Uh, so just go ahead and fish those down, grab them over here. Then we're going to pull the slack through, being careful not to chafe anything. Now for running through this boot, the best thing to use is a little metal coat hanger that you've straightened out. Uh, so what you're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and straighten that out. You can also use a welding rod, but you're going to start on the truck side and you're just going to kind of run it through. One of the little tricks is you want to kind of squeeze the boot together uh, so that the two plastic ends are kind of aligned. So go ahead and kind of do that and then we're going to fish that little rod through. And we'll just guide it to the other side being careful not to chafe any of the wires. What we're going to do is just go ahead and tape the two or three wires, the white, orange, and gray, to that rod. You're going to want to make sure you tape it pretty tight, make sure that it doesn't come off. 
Now you go ahead and just fish it back on through. You can just go ahead and pull the metal wire and as long as you have it taped on there good, the wire should come with it. need to remove a trim piece so first we're going to go ahead and just get this top piece off of it so you don't have to remove this whole piece just kind of the front clip here so that should be good enough and then we're actually going to need to be removing this one so this is some trim clips i'll just go ahead and remove that let's go ahead and pass the wires into the cab of the truck and grab it on the other side You're just going to want to fish the passenger side over to the driver's side. Now there's di many different ways to do this. Uh, you just do it whatever way works best for you. You can use some zip ties and just tie everything up and you're done. Now you have two options for the way to wire this. You can either run both sides to the underhood fuse box or you can run the passenger side to the driver's side kick panel and then splice the passenger side to the driver's side and then just run the driver's side orange and white wires up. It is your choice. Now we're working on this boot here on the driver's side up on the firewall. We're going to take our metal coat hanger and again we're just going to kind of pass this straight in through the top of the boot right up here. So we'll kind of use it to poke a little bit of a hole in the boot. You can see our metal rod came up through the boot right over there so we're just going to go ahead and come in the cab of the truck and tape the wires to it so that we can fish it back through. And just go ahead and fish it right on through. Go ahead and remove the cover to the fuse box. For the running lights, we're going to go ahead and remove the trailer park fuse. It's going to be right over here, so we'll go ahead and remove that. Then you're going to put the original fuse into the lower slot on the fuse tap. We'll go ahead and strip the orange wire. We're going to put the orange wire into the fuse tap, and then we're going to go ahead and crimp it down. And you're going to put the fuse tap back into the original spot for trailer park. For the reverse light, we're going to go ahead and remove the trailer backup fuse. And we're going to go ahead and place the original tra trailer backup fuse into the lower slot on the fuse tap. And we're going to go ahead and strip the white wire. And then we'll place that into the butt connector on the fuse tap. And we'll go ahead and crimp it down. We'll go ahead and place that into the original slot. Now for the ground wires, we're going to be grounding those out right on this bolt right up here. So we're over here on the driver's side. So we're going to take our gray wire and we're going to go ahead and ground both gray wires to here. Now with the 10 mil, we'll go ahead and remove that. Now. We're going to go ahead and bring both gray wires down to the area and go ahead and strip them off. Put both gray wires into the eyelet provided by Boost Auto Parts and go ahead and crimp it down. I'm going to go ahead and take the eyelet, put it straight on the stud, and then we're going to take our nut, put the nut on the stud, and just go ahead and snug it down. Now, if you did buy mirrors set up for dome in reverse, you would have received this harness. Inside the bag is a little car, which has a little bit more of an in-depth install video. We'll go ahead and show you in this video as well. However, you can reference back to that video if you have questions. If you did not purchase reverse and dome, you're done. Go ahead and just skip this portion of the video. Now we're taking the two white wires that go to each of the mirrors. So this is the left side and right side wire, and we're going to go ahead and twist them together. So these, this is not the white wire running to the underhood fuse box. Uh, that wire is going to be used as one of, an in, one of the inputs. This is going to be the single output. So we have both white wires for each mirror. We're putting them into the single orange output on the dual function dome and reverse module. We'll go ahead and crimp that down. Now originally we ran the white wire under the hood and we tapped into the trailer backup so we're going to use that as one of the inputs. We're going to put that into one of the blues and we'll go ahead and crimp it down. Go ahead and remove this trim piece. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of untape this wire loom a little bit and you're going to be looking for the gray with black stripe wire. So you can see we kind of have it pulled off to the side here. You're just going to go ahead and splice a wire there, run that down into your lower kick panel, and you're going to tap that onto the other input. And then we've gone ahead and ran that dome wire down. We're just going to put that under the other input, which is going to be this blue wire here. And we'll go ahead and crimp that down. 
So we just used a spare piece of wire and again tapped to the dome wire, which is the gray with black. And then we're just crimping that down onto here. Let's go ahead and use the heat gun and shrink wrap the buck connectors. We're just going to go ahead and test the running lights. So we're going to go ahead and turn those on. You can see they're activating on both sides. And then we'll also test the reverse lights and dome lamp if you did get the dome and reverse. You cannot test the turn signal until the door panels are reassembled as that will be a plug and play feature. Go ahead and put this trim piece back on. Go ahead and snap the boot back in. We'll go ahead and plug the connectors back into the door panel. Now to put the door panel back on, it should just kind of latch down. You do have to make sure that the wires are clear of the latches. We'll place the foam back in over the mirror. Then we'll go ahead and latch the trim piece down and then push it in. I'm going to go ahead and put the 7mm bolts back in. The longer one goes by the door grab. And then the shorter one's going to go right up here. And we're going to use the T15 to put this back in. And the dust cap will just go right over that. Let's put this trim clip back in over here. You're going to go ahead and put this unlock marker back on. The red does face towards the rear. We're just going to go ahead and put that trim piece back on. Now as you can see, the vehicle that we were working on did not have a light down in the bottom corner of the door panel as it has seen better days. If your vehicle did have a light, just make sure you put it back in there before you put your door panel back together. Just like that, your installation is complete. To get the parts shown in this video, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts stocks a wide variety of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for your GM trucks and SUVs. Check us out. BoostAutoParts.com.